I read the book Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill and in this video I will share the 6 main secrets I learned that will transform anyone motivated to become rich and successful. Let's get started. Secret number 1. Have a burning desire. Michael was a teenager who loved playing basketball. He wanted to become a professional basketball player more than anything in the world. But one day, the worst thing happened. He was not selected for his high school team, and that broke him. Most people would have given up, but not Michael. He decided to work harder than ever and didn't let it define him. Today, Michael is considered one of the greatest basketball players of all time. His name is Michael Jordan. Like Michael, we all face difficult challenges in our lives. It's how we react to them that defines our success. And when we really want something, it's when we will do everything in our power to get it. Take Mr. Beast as another example. Mr. Beast is one of the biggest YouTubers with millions of subscribers, but it wasn't always like that. It took Mr. Beast more than two years, countless hours of hard work and many, many failures to get his first 1000 subscribers. Most people give up after a couple of failures, but not Mr. Beast. He had a burning desire to become the best YouTuber of all time, and that feeling brought him to where he is today. What about you? Do you have a burning desire? Find out what you care about and you will benefit from infinite strength. Secret number 2. Persistence A long time ago there was a man with a gold mine making a fortune. He bought heavy machinery and was digging lots of gold, until one day it dried out. He continued to dig but the gold had disappeared. After a few weeks he decided to quit and he sold his mine for a penny. The new owner called a mining engineer who calculated that there would be more gold just 3 feet deeper from where the previous owner stopped. He dug and there it was. If only the man had been persistent enough he would be a millionaire. And that's what is lacking to most people. When we face temporary defeat, we easily demotivate and end up quitting. Not realizing failure is part of the journey and that we might be just one step away from success. Being persistent also means that no doesn't always mean no. In the book there is a story about a grumpy owner of a farm. One day a little girl, daughter of one of his workers came by asking for the 50 cents he owed to her mother. The man shouted he wouldn't give anything and that she should go home. The little girl stood there, not moving an inch. The man again said, I told you to go home now, to which he answered, yes sir, but still didn't move. The man upset approached the little girl but to his surprise she did one step forward and said, my mom must have the 50 cents. The man surprised, reached his pocket, took 50 cents out and gave it to her. Slowly she stepped back, not taking her eyes out of the man she just conquered, and then left. When we persist, we increase our chances of success. Be more like the little girl and stand by what you want, even if the odds don't look in your favor. And with that, we have already unlocked two of the six secrets from the book. Are you taking notes? You might already have one, two or even three of the secrets, but when you combine the six together, that's when you are really capable of anything you want. So pay close attention and let's talk about the next secret. Secret number three, continuous learning. This is Carl, he's a filmmaker and recently decided to create a YouTube channel. And this is Judith, she also wants to become a YouTuber but knows nothing about YouTube or how to make videos. For a few months both have been making content. Carl got some views in his first videos and was happy about it. Judith's videos were terrible and had only a couple of views from her friends but she got feedback from them and made each video better than the one before. A few months forward and Carl was not seeing any growth, so he decided to quit. He tried but he failed to see progress. Judith on the other hand started seeing some growth. It was still worse than Carl's results, but she kept learning and improving. Two years later and Judith has a ton of success and is making a living out of it. While Carl started with more expertise on the area, he never tried to learn. Judith knew that if she wanted to succeed, she needed to learn every day. So every time she faced temporary defeat, instead of quitting, she learned from her mistakes and built enough knowledge to succeed. And even now that she's seeing a lot of success, she doesn't stop asking questions, wanting to learn more from others and continues to improve her content. 
She knows that one of the secrets to succeed is to always see yourself as a student. Secret number four, believe in yourself. It sounds obvious, but people fail over and over again because they don't believe in themselves. When faced with difficult challenges, people often look for excuses to not even try. And when they try, they are unconsciously looking for reasons to quit. Because deep down, they don't believe they can do it, and what you don't believe, you can't achieve. To change this mindset, the author shares an interesting theory of how faith can emerge. He believes when we mix thoughts with feelings, we can influence our subconscious mind and build up faith. And when you build faith in yourself, that you are capable of a lot more, it's when you will take action instead of looking for reasons not to. It doesn't mean we have all the answers, but that we are strong enough to fight for them. By now, you already unlocked four from the six secrets. The next two are equally important to transform intentions into results. So, let's keep going. Secret number five, imagination. On the road to success, there are many challenges, and only with our imagination we will be able to tackle them consistently. Imagination is like a muscle. The more you use it, the better and stronger it becomes. However, most people fail to use it properly. We live in a world where we don't have time for anything. We are constantly busy with our jobs, our parental duties or restoring our energy levels. We have so many things to do and so many places to be that we never give ourselves time to think on our problems and how to solve them. That's why when you take a shower or go to bed, you have lots of thoughts and ideas. That means it was the first time in your day that you had a minute to let your thoughts flow. And that's what is lacking to most people, time to think freely and benefit from our fantastic imagination. Some techniques you can use to solve problems is to go for a walk alone, do some chores that don't require thinking or simply close your eyes and focus on the problem that you have in hand. To become rich, we need to take the time to let our head run free and explore solutions. And finally, secret number six, organized planning. There cannot be wealth and success without a plan. By developing a plan is how we transform our desire into action. And that's where most people fail. They do not act because they don't even know where to start. A good strategy is to first plan how you want to achieve your goals. Second, you should act towards that plan. Then you should analyze the results of your actions. And finally, adjust your plan accordingly to what you learned. Some plans will fail and you will face temporary defeats many times. That's when you need to stand up and create a new plan. Always remember that a quitter never wins and the winner never quits. Thank you for watching, subscribe for more and see you on the next video.